Hi friends, this is Fire on Pop, and I have another edition today of Armed Citizen Stories. And these stories are coming right out of Concealed Carry Magazine. Uh, this was a free issue they sent out. Uh, now it's all digital. And uh, so, here we go. It's from Concealed Carry Magazine. Uh, become a member. It's a great organization, great magazine once a month. Uh, so, uh, let's continue right on here. Texas woman foils a daylight burglary. A 22-year-old Dallas woman was asleep following her night job when she was awakened by her front door being kicked in. Retrieving her pistol she kept by her bed, she hoped the intruders would not find her. A fear for her life and safety when they approached her upstairs bedroom, she fired on them, wounding one fatally and putting both to flight. The subsequent investigation revealed that at least one of the men was armed with a pistol which was left behind when the men fled. And that was in uh, Dallas, Fort Worth area, Texas. A Texas man <coughs> saves cops' life while uh, with a long shot. A neighborhood argument over dog droppings in early, in, in early Texas ended in death for several people and a near death of a police officer. If the two RV park Residents argued over a dog relieving himself in the neighbor's yard. The offended party, later identified as deranged, resorted to a gun to settle matters, killing two people and several dogs. A police officer responding to the shooting was pinned down behind his vehicle by the killer who had good cover behind a tree. Fortunately, another RV Park resident saw what was happening and, tactically, and, and the tactically disadvantaged of the uh, of the police officer. He realized that since he had a clear flank position on the bad guy, he was in a position to help. Taking up a magnum caliber revolver, he fired on the killer at a distance of more than 150 yards, hitting him three times in, and distracting him sufficiently for the policeman to break cover and put his own AR-15 rounds to good effect. The killer died at the scene. Wow. The civilian who intervened on the side of the police was being hailed as a hero. And that was in guns.com. State opposed federal gun permit law. Attorney General in New York and nine other states have written U.S. Senate leaders urging them to stop legislation that would allow licensed gun owners to carry concealed weapons across state lines. Letters sent to st uh, Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid, uh, Democrat in Nevada, and, Mer and Minority Leader Mitch McConnell. Republican Kentucky said the National Right to Carry Reciprocity Act would restrict the state's ability to control gun permits inside their borders, forcing them to recognize permits from states with weak o oversight and make it harder to persecute illegal gun traffickers. The NRA supports the bill. The organization says the bill allows owners to protect themselves in other states. <clears throat> the other attorney generals included in, in the letter are from Cal Connecticut, California, wow, what a surprise, Hawaii, Illinois, Maryland, Massachusetts, Nevada, and Oregon, along with Pennsylvania's attorney general. And that was in the Associated Press. So, I mean, that's not a <laughs> the right story here, but it's very opportune. Uh, you need to call your senators and make sure they are supporting this rep Reprocosity Act. All right, these are not uh, true stories, uh, but anyway, uh, they only gave two, and I hope you enjoy those. These other articles are great. It's just not what I was looking for on this page, but um, the two stories that we did get, both in Texas and one uh, with a 150-round uh, shot from a, uh, a 357 Magnum hand pistol, which I'm going to take to be a snubby. 
so that was a great shot. Uh, hit the man three times, and the uh, police officer finished him off. So, hope you enjoyed these stories. This is Firearm Pop. Be safe out there, and God bless. Bye now.